let us not underrate the intrinsic force of the words we utter. They are not simple passing articulations, but rather conveyors of an enduring recurrence that reverberates in the ether, impacting our world in significant ways. All through this video, you will gain proficiency with the right method for talking with yourself and thusly draw in all that you want. Frequently, we talk without giving appropriate consideration to this profound effect, unwittingly ignoring the crucial job our words play in molding our condition. In point of fact, our words serve as reflections of our essence, reflecting our inner world. However, a lot of us are still oblivious to the extent to which our words possess power. We nonchalantly utter expressions disregarding the outcomes they could set off. Envision somebody reliably discussing neediness and weakness. These words impact the psyche mind, which stays unprejudiced, however constantly delivers all that we express and accept to be valid. The words we express convey enormous power, effectively forming our existence. This tracks down help in Neville's principal idea of the law of presumption. Even though many of us are unaware of it, our spoken words reveal our implicit assumptions, which then manifest themselves in the things we encounter every day. Assuming we intently notice our words, we can perceive how unequivocally they manifest in our general surroundings. As Joseph Murphy said, what you sow in your psyche mind, you will harvest in your body and climate. Consequently, somebody who continually talks about shortcoming will definitely complement it. Likewise, zeroing in on the shortfall of affection brings a greater amount of it into such individuals' reality. Our psyche mind acts without judgment. It basically submits to our words and feelings. Consequently, the transformative power of words cannot be denied. Notwithstanding, an inquiry emerges. For what reason do our endeavors to show joy some of the time appear to bring about the inverse? As per Neville Goddard, the response lies in the way that we don't show what we need, yet rather what we are. Rather than saying I would rather not be miserable any longer, shift the concentration to good certifications like I'm honored and cheerful, I feel brilliantly well. This shift proclaims your present status of joy, laying a strong, profound establishment. To be sure, our condition assumes a huge part in what appears in our lives. Consequently, while talking expressions of thriving and riches, it's sufficiently not to articulate them only. Credible sensations of overflow are fundamental. Our words change dramatically when we cultivate gratitude for what we have and adopt an abundance mindset. Grievances decline while the longing to offer thanks increments, bringing about recognizable change. Thus, noticing our words and their close-to-home associations over the course of the day is savvy. This training assists us with perceiving oblivious suspicions that unavoidably impact our lives. While it could appear to be entertaining to play with negative viewpoints, it can unwantedly affect the psyche mind. Indeed, even humble humor, apparently fun, has powerful ramifications. Each reverberating word inside us holds importance and will ultimately put itself out there. Grumbling, for instance, unintentionally gives energy to the things that annoy us, cementing them in our existence. This is clear in despondent couples who center around protests as opposed to understanding and love, prompting a pattern of expanding misery to work on this perspective. Picking words shrewdly is vital. In your interactions with others and with yourself, use language that is powerful and upbeat. For example, plant I want to believe that I can win with, I accept I will win. Such inconspicuous changes assume an imperative part. Words act as actual impressions of our inner state, broadcasting to the world and our psyche mind uncovering our actual pith. Practicing alert in discourse becomes fundamental. Your external communication will gradually change as a result of aligning your internal dialogue with the frequency of love. Embracing a caring methodology towards yourself and your longings advances empathy and confidence, preparing for your words to show the best you. This alignment with love consistently produces delightful and beneficial outcomes over time. Your words hold meaning and don't be ignored. 
If you have doubts about their power, listen to what your friends and family are saying. You'll see a reasonable impression of their manifest encounters as would be natural for them. It's significant that discussions of those confronting monetary difficulties frequently spin around. Changes can happen quickly, prompting recognizable changes as a general rule. Our words have an eternal nature, according to this profound truth. They remain in the ether forever. The energy we put into our words builds up over time in the collective consciousness and has an impact on the world around us. This reaches out to our own lives. The words we express effectively shape our singular encounters. Accordingly, recognizing your brief existence is fundamental. Your words resemble strong spells, conveying tremendous power and impact, rising above the human domain. By arousing the timeless quintessence inside you and using its powers carefully, you can add to changing this world into a heaven, for yourself as well as for others too. Watch our different recordings and interface much more profoundly with this endless universe called 